I'm speaking with Chris Cunningham, owner of Tri Spirit Creations. How are you today? I'm really good. I feel good. I'm, uh, I don't know. I, I, I love every day, so I, I enjoy life. Look at the blessings that we, we have around us. Perfect. So what can residents expect to be all involved in the drum building workshops? Um, well, I think it's finding that connection to the drum and that, that connection to oneself is, uh, is what I get from the drum. I, I love the drum. I've been called to, to the drum ever since, uh, I didn't grow up with the drum, but in my early thirties is my wife actually went to a workshop. And even though I'm first nation, a lot of our first nation culture was, uh, kind of taken away from us with colonization. Like we're even it was against the law to practice some of our culture in the past, in the recent past, like in the 1980s and stuff like that. So um, part of our culture was missing and growing up, I always felt a sense of missing a piece of myself, even though I hunted and trapped and like I'm First Nation from Sucker Creek First Nation, but uh, the drum wasn't a big part of my my personal family. So um, when my wife went to a workshop, uh, I think I was 32 years old and she brought a, a drum back into the house. And, and when she hit that drum beat, it was something through that vibration that just went right through me. It was, a, it was an instant call in that I needed the energy of the drum for myself or just my person. At that time, there was no, um, there was no desire to make a drum. It was it was to uh, to connect to that energy, that that healing energy that I was feeling. So, for me, it's to help people connect to that energy, and and uh, and part of it is uh, is finding yourself in the drum and all the benefits that drumming gives a person. Yeah. And who else will be hosting this workshop with you guys this weekend? Um. Well, Tara Hardy from Heart and Soul Essentials. And all the spots are full for this weekend, just for residents that don't know? Yeah, that's correct. And how many workshops have there been so far? Um, sometimes I do about, uh, I don't know, I, I guess I've been doing workshops for, for maybe since 2015. And in, in the first year, I probably only did a few, like three, but uh, some months we do between uh, like one to three workshops in a month, some months, some months we don't do any. So it's kind of hard for me to give you an exact number, but if I was to guess, I would probably say I, I've done maybe 30 workshops in the last few years, several years. Okay. Yeah. And how do you avoid COVID-19 for these workshops just to help keep residents safe? Um, well, we, we bring masks and we have the, the uh, hand sanitizer protocol. So, uh, and then we try and uh, socially distance as, as much as possible, but uh, to build a drum, usually we use two people so we ask when the participants are um, building the drums that they're wearing masks if they're in within that six feet uh, distance from each other yeah and has the support for these workshops remained strong since COVID-19 happened I well we at the first start of COVID-19 we uh, we canceled a bunch of workshops just because we were all uh, like everybody else in the lockdown. And uh, we didn't know how serious the COVID-19 was at the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we canceled a bunch of workshops at the start, but now that uh, the restrictions and the guidelines are in place, then we've, we've started, uh, we started up again, yeah. Can you kind of explain more on the process of what happens in these workshops? Yeah. Um, well, we start out with an opening circle, get to know everybody in the group. Um, I share a bit of drum teachings. And then, uh, and then I bring all the materials already pre-cut and ready to build. So then uh, from the drum teachings, we'll go into uh, 
the drum building. After we all put the drums together, we do like a smudging, a blessing on the drums. And then uh, after that, we'll do a kind of closing circle. I like to uh, also use the flute. The native flute is uh, as one of my uh, sacred tools. So I also do a native flute uh, prayer song at the end of the workshop and then we'll do a closing circle at the end and then everyone gets to take their drums home with them. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Chris. You're welcome.